this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can use BCF tools to rename chromosomes in a VCF file. We are going to use the annotate command. And by the way, this is the page where you can read about the usage of BCF tools. So just use that. I'll leave the link in the description box. So there's a command annotate. So with the annotate command, there's an option to rename chromosomes. So uh, that is here, somewhere here. Um, yes, yeah, so this one here, uh, rename dash chrs. So this one will be used to rename the uh, chromosome. So you have to specify a file that contains the old name and then the new name. Okay, so that's how you do. So they should be separated by a space. So the old name, a space character, and then the new name. Okay, so uh, you can have um, several chromosomes and each of them should be in a different line. Okay, so we have each old name and new pair should be in a separate line. So I'll show you how everything is done um, on the terminal. So let's uh, proceed. In order for you to follow the tutorial, you need to make sure you are running a Linux or Mac OS PC. And you also need to make sure you have installed BCF tools on that PC. I have separate tutorials that show you how to install BCF tools. And so you can watch them to set up your PC. The links to those videos are in the description box. You can install BCF tools using Anaconda or by building from source. So just watch the videos and then set up your PC. Once you are done, we can continue. We will begin by first downloading an example data. Okay, so we are going to use a VCF file which is available on my GitHub repo. And this is the page. I will leave the link in the description box for you to also visit this repo and then download it. For this exercise, we are going to use this file, all.snipsindels.vcf.gz. This file is what we are going to use. To download it, you first have to click on it. You can also double click. And then you'll be sent to another page. On this page, move to the right side. Just follow my cursor. Move to the right side and you'll see a download button here. So there's a button labeled download. That is what we are going to use. I'll show you two approaches to use to download this file. The first approach is used if you want to download using the browser. What you do is to click on it and then you'll be asked to save. So I will save it on my PC. Make sure you save it in a location where you have access to the file. Okay, so there's one way to download the file. The other approach is used if you are working on a remote server where you have access to only the terminal or the command line. For that, you need to have the download link. Okay, so that is what you need. So to get the download link, still bring your cursor over to the button. And then what you do is you just right click it. Okay, so once you right click it, you go to this copy link here and then just click on it. Okay. So I am using a Firefox browser, so this is how I do it. But using the other browsers to be able to get the download link. So once you have this download link, you move to the terminal and continue from there. So on the terminal, the first thing I will do is to create a working directory. So I will say make the VCFs. I will then cd to it. The reason why I do this is to separate files that I'll be generating for this exercise from other files on my PC. Okay, so doing this helps you to organize your files and prevent accidental removal of files and modification of files. So that is why I create directories for every project that I do. So now it's time to download the data. So I will use reget for it. So I'll say reget and I'll supply it with the download link of the file, the VCF file. And then I'll run it. Please take note that aside reget, there are other tools that can help you to download files from the internet. Okay, so just use an appropriate tool to get your data downloaded. So let's run this command.
So now the data has been downloaded. Let's first clear the screen and continue. Let's do an LS to check the file. So there it is. We will now do an indexing of this file. So you see VCF tools index and we specify the VCF file. Let's run it. It's done. So let's do an LS just to check the file. Okay, the index file. There it is. Before we do the renaming, let's display the chromosomes. Okay, in this particular file. Okay, we just want the names. So we will say BCF tools query dash F. And then we have our percentage symbol and then chrome dash N. And then we specify the VCF file. Let me also say that I have a separate tutorial that shows you how to uh, do queries for chromosomes in a VCF file. So you can just watch that. And that video goes into detail. So just watch that to learn more. So I'll use just one of the commands. And that is what I'm doing here. So I have it here. There's a command here. But this will generate duplicates. So we will remove the duplicates using this pipe and then adding the unique command here this one here then we run it so we have everything we need here okay so this what we have okay so we have the list here and uh, we can count let's clear the screen we can count as well by adding another pipe and say wc-l just to count them okay so we have it there um, now let's do this we are going to rename some of the chromosomes okay so let's save this list the chromosome names here that we queried okay into a text file so let's do this with this command here without the wc-l we will we will just direct the output to a file using this command here okay this symbol here and then we just give a name so let's say chromosomes.txt Let's do it this way. So now it's done. Let's do an ls and you see the file there. Okay. And let's just display the first um, three chromosomes. So when I say three chromosomes, I mean the first three um, entries here in this text file. Okay. That's what I mean by the first three um, chromosomes. So you see head n3 and then we specify the file is it so that's what we have here okay so we have them there so that's what we do let's say we want to rename and um, these three chromosomes okay okay from this particular vcfr we just want to rename those three ones and leave the others intact so what we will do is that we will just save this three okay this three um, chromosomes we will just put their names in another text file so with this same command here we just direct the output to a file okay so let's say let's just say um, names let's put it this way names.txt okay so let's do a let's do an ls to check so we have it here we can also do a cut to display Okay, so we have it here. So that's what we are going to. So we are going to rename it. For the renaming, when we look at the instructions here, we have what a text file that has the old name separated by the new name. Okay, we separate them with a, a space character. So we have the old name, space, and the new name. And then if you have several entries. They should be in different lines okay they should be in separate lines okay that's what this slash here slash n here means so that is what we are going to do so let's go back and then just uh, do it so let's edit this text file here this one the one we created so you can use any text editor okay so i will use nano but you can use vi vim or any text editor to do it so i'll say nano names.txt so 
these are the old names okay so we will add the new names okay so the old and then the new name will be separated by a space character so this one here space and let's say the new name is chr 10 this one space chr 11 this one space chr 12 so now we are done let's save it let's see the changes do a cut and then just confirm so that's what we have here okay so it is it let's clear the screen and then proceed let's do an ls again and check it out so we have it here so now we are ready to do the renaming so with the renaming what we will do is that we will do a renaming and then just save the result to um, a different file a different vcf file okay so that will be the output so in other words we are making a copy of this and then we will do a renaming on that copy so that's what we do so you see vcf tools annotates and then we say dash dash rename dash chrs and then we specify the file okay that contains the old and then the new names and that is what this file here so we say names.txt now we are done then we specify the vcf file here and then we specify the output format i prefer to use the compressed one so that's what i do and then i specify the output name with dash o lowercase o so let's say renamed dot vcf dot gz that would be the new name so once we have this we can execute it so let's do it so the renaming will be done for us shortly so let's wait for us it does it so now it's done we have done the renaming let's do an ls and you will see that a new vcf file has been generated so this here contains all the information here and then also has um, the chromosomes renamed i mean those three chromosomes of interest so now we can check it out we can verify by displaying the chromosomes here to see the names so we say bcf tools query dash f we add our quotes and then our percentage symbol and then the chrome slash n and we indicate the vcf file the new one here then we add our unique command to remove duplicates and then we run it so let's run it so now we have it there so notice that we have what the new names here so this is how we do the renaming okay so there's a new file we generated that has the renaming done okay so that's how we do it here so that's it so let's clear the screen do an ls let's just confirm some so there's the old one okay let's do a head okay so these are the names let's just uh, display this one here okay so we have it here okay now let's just um save the info here okay the chromosomes here um to another text file so let's just um record this command here and then just save to an output so let's say new names.txt and then let's do a head to get a first three so there we have it so the renaming has been done for us okay so it's very simple to do so um, let me also get your comments and if there's anything that's um, you think can be improved um, in this tutorial just let us know in the comment section so that'll be all for this tutorial and you can check this playlist out here and then just get more videos on how to manipulate vcf files using vcf tools thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next session goodbye